Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to evaluate the second derivative of the natural law of the gamma function at the particular value of x equals one. So uh, let's see how do we uh, approach uh, this question. Uh, in the in the first glance, uh, we have uh, the natural log function uh, in front of the uh, the gamma function. So this um, uh, remind us a uh, very important formula for the gamma function, uh, which is the Euler's formula for the infinite product. So let's uh, write down the exact product here, the so natural log. And the uh, infinite product is given by 1 over x is the um, product of from n equals 1 to infinity. And in the numerator, we have 1 plus uh, 1 over n to the power of x over 1 plus x over n and this is the infinite product and at its value of x equals 1 so so why why we will have such a uh, intuition because uh, we can change the infinite product into infinite sum uh, with the natural log function so let's see uh, how do we uh, how do we do this? Well, I'm going to I'm going to uh, concentrate on only the product first. So we will uh, first ignore the derivative and the particular value of x equals to one. So let's manipulate the product and and to see what happens, uh, I'm going to write out several terms uh, so that we know uh, what hap what's happening. And this is the natural log, 1 over x. And then for n equals 1, we have 1 plus 1 over 1 to the power of x. And then over 1 plus uh, x over 1. And then multiply 1 plus 1 over 2 to the power of x. And then over 1 plus x over 2. And then we write out one more term, which is uh, 1 plus 1 over 3 to the power of x over 1 plus x over 3 and then dot, 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 to infinity so with the natural log uh, we can turn the, the product into the sum so I'm going to write um, the, all the numerator because the natural log can go inside to each term and we can write like natural log of 1 plus 1 over 1 to the power of x plus natural log of 1 plus 1 over 2 to the power of x and the same for the third term and then plus dot dot, dot. and then we have the first part which is the uh, positive sum of the natural log of these terms and then we are going to minus the natural log of x which comes from the first term and then minus and I use the bracket the natural log of 1 plus x over 1 plus natural log of 1 plus x over 2 and then same for the third term x over 3 plus dot dot dot, dot. so now we have uh, this two uh, infinite sum so let's further simplify it we know that the power of x can go to the front and multiply uh, the uh, natural log of the 1 plus 1 over n. So now we can write it as x and the summation from n plus 1 to infinity, the natural log of 1 plus 1 over n. And then minus the natural log of x and then minus we, we are doing the same the summation of n equals 1 to infinity the natural log of 1 plus x over n so we can turn the infinite product into infinite sum and now we are going to differentiate the expression two times and for the first term we know that there is a variable x here and the next term is only a constant so we know that 
after differentiate two times, it will become zero. And then for the second term, the negative natural law of x, if we differentiate first time, we have one over x. If we differentiate second time, and then we have negative one over x square, and which is good. And then for the third term, um, so let's uh, try to differentiate the natural log of 1 plus x over n first. And remember uh, the derivative of a natural log of function is given by the derivative of the function over the original function. So uh, let's see what ha what's happened. And if we differentiate the first time, what do we have? We differentiate the inside 1 plus x over n, and then we have 1 over n over the original function 1 plus x over n. And now we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by n. So we have a, a better expression, which is 1 over n plus x. So we differentiate it for the second time, and then we know that 1 plus n over x, we can write it as n plus x to the power of negative 1. So now we have negative n plus x to the power of negative 2, and then we go inside for the chain loop, and we multiply by 1. And then this, uh, the answer is negative 1 over n plus x to the power of, or uh, to the power of 2. So now we can gather all the information and see what's happened. And we have the first term, the negative natural log, and we have we combine the two uh, neg negative sides cancel each other. We have one over x square. And same for the second term. We have a negative side here, but we have a negative side also here. So we have plus 1 over n plus x um, square. And of course, uh, okay, let me okay, add back the, in, uh, the summation from n equals 1 to infinity like this. So now we can substitute the x equals 1 now. And then we have 1 over 1 square, which is 1. And for the second term, we have summation of n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n plus 1 whole square. So what is this infinite sum? So let's uh, express uh, the term a bit out. And then we have the 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 3 square plus 1 over 4 square, so on and so forth. And this is exactly the uh, theta function at its value of 2. And then we use the special value of this function, which is pi square over 6. So we have the final answer, which is the pi square over 6. And this is the second derivative of the natural law of gamma function at x equals 1. So I hope uh, you guys like this video. And please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.